voices, they can't silence our voices no matter how hard they try. So I, I just think that you, by saying that just give up and don't go vote, don't be involved in the process, don't do this, don't do that, you're just saying that it's fine then the, the neocons have won. Absolutely. Um, we've only got about six, seven minutes left with you. Let's take some phone calls. John in Oklahoma, you're on the air with Cindy Sheehan. Hello, Cindy. Hello, John. Um, this is not, maybe not pertinent to your particular race, but it was something that I noticed about the Barack Obama and uh, Hillary Clinton when they were running together. It was about six or nine months, eight months ago. You mean running against each other? Yeah, when when they took that drink, when they were all taking the drink, Hillary was like, Whew, yeah, is this all I got to do to be president? And, <laughs> and Barack, Barack Obama was like, if you look at the film footage, I mean, I'm sure you guys you guys are a lot smarter than no, I'm, I could No, we're not. I, in fact, I don't know what you're talking about. Drink. Well, when they took, when Barack Obama took that drink of wine, it barely touched his lips. I believe he is a closet Muslim, and he's just hiding, hiding under, isn't there something in the Koran about... Yeah, when you know, you're in amongst the, quote, enemies, keep yourself alone. There you go. Listen, I appreciate your call. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, we hear all this talk. He is bought and paid for by powerful corporate interest. The president is a puppet now. Uh, under the COG system, uh, to say, you know, to get into him being a Muslim, to get into him not being a Muslim, to get into him this or that, it doesn't matter. He's bought and paid for by the global corporate interest. And, you know, to get involved, well, McCain's bad, we better vote for him because because we can't trust Barack Obama. It doesn't matter. You, we, we have to stop being fooled into, into believing that these people aren't, uh, aren't uh, corporate stooges. Uh, Cindy? Well, I, I agree with you. It doesn't matter if Barack Obama is a Muslim or not. And if he is, he sure does a good job of hiding it or being in the, in the closet because he sure has been um, very vocal in support of Israel and, you know, taking down Muslim countries for Israel. So, you know, I think that even if he was a Muslim, it wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't make that much difference. It's not supposed to make a difference. You know, I wish that we didn't hear about religion and politics, that we're not voting for the Pope of America, we're voting for the President of America. And it doesn't really matter to me, and it shouldn't matter to, matter to other people what religion anybody is. Well, I agree with you. They just use that as a political football. It's a wedge issue, and Palin was totally just to pander to the religious right in this country who um, don't, uh, you know, the Jesus that I grew up. Well, and, look, and Glow Danu is nothing like this. Well, look, I mean, it's it, 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 it's a fraud as well. I mean, it, this should insult Christian conservatives. Uh, you know, the fact is McCain isn't for the issues they want, and so all they're doing here. Uh, is as you said, just 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 using her to add some novelty. Oh, she's a woman. Oh, she's Christian. Oh, she's you know she's uh, a pro gun. And you're absolutely right. It is nothing but an attempt to sucker conservatives back to the table. Let's take another call. Let's talk to uh, Michael in Ohio. Michael, you're on the air. Welcome. Yes, thank you, Alex, and hello, Cindy, and Cindy for president and one, two. How's that? <laughs> uh, Cindy, I just wanted to, in fact, uh, I've been battling something called chemtrails for many, 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 many years. Um, I've been on all radio shows, I haven't been on Alex's yet, but he knows a lot about them. And the thing with the chemtrails in the Bay Area in California transcends all the politicking. It yeah, remember when Arnold through. wanted to spray the pesticides? Yeah, and, the brown and, apple moth butterfly, that is an isocyanate, extremely toxic, but Pelosi, in fact, and all the other people out there that, in fact, are supposed to be our elected officials ignore this. This particular issue transcends all of it. Yeah, what he's bringing up is what Kucinich uh, wrote about in a bill, I think, six years ago, the declassified yeah. weather modification and other classified programs. What would you do in Congress uh, to look into that, Cindy? 
Oh, we lost her. That's that's why we lost her earlier. Well, that, that's strange. I, I was going to tell her about something that I wrote in. Oh, our three. phone systems are fun, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, and this new studio, man, I want as many backups as possible. <laughs> because this Internet phone business is not the way to go. See, we have regular phone lines here, but not enough to take your calls and have Cindy on. They're not friendly. Uh, and, and so what we're... So, so then we have people uh, on on IP phones to call into the show, and, and Genesis is doing something similar, and it, it just needs to stop. It just, it just doesn't work. It it, it 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 isn't backed up enough. That's why other major radio networks still use landlines uh, because the, they sound better, they work better, they are better. It you know, it's been figured out. Uh, and so, by the way, I want that in the new studio. I want a five regular line backup in my studio, and I'll just take more and more over it myself. Uh, but we'll just uh, say bye to Cindy uh, right now and let you go, too. Send me your info. Send it to Trey at InfoWars.com. Uh, say your name's Dr. Michael Castle. Yes. So just send that over. Thanks for the call. Thanks, Alex. Uh, you bet. Take care. Uh, but, uh, look, we had Cindy Sheehan on, and... Uh, that's what matters, and that's a done deal. Now, let's go ahead and take another call here from uh, Leo in Mass. Leo, you're on the air. Go ahead. Howdy. Uh, is Cindy still there? No, she's not. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think that the uh, people calling in from the outside is the most dangerous thing she could ever do. That's really like, like curtains because you don't have any control over who's doing the calling. So uh, get back to her and make sure that she doesn't do that. What are you talking about? Cindy was talking about having people calling in to the people, to the prospective voters, and doing it in an unregulated atmosphere is the most dangerous thing you can do, and letting people do things on their own. Well, a lot of political parties will uh, act like they are phone bank uh, volunteers and call up and say horrible things to people. That's some dirty tricks, uh, but... Uh, you know, I, I I think things should be un, unregulated. I mean, it's, it's people are allowed to call who they want. They're allowed to pamphleteer who they want. It's that it, it's that bottom up structure, that unregulated system uh, that has been so successful uh, throughout history. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's it, it's even worse to have only a top down integration, vertical integration. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, hey, do me a big uh, favor. If you want to be on this show, will you turn off whatever radio or TV show that is on the background? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, it's off. I'm going to let you go. I appreciate your call. It's just, it's just too noisy in the background as it wasn't off. Um, we're going to come back, and I'm going to have open phones throughout the show, more of the economic news, a bunch of big military developments, too, between Israel and Iran, the U.S. Um, we're going to cover all that and then get back into your calls at 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. We're on TV in here, and there's a fly flying around. So going to get me a fly swatter. Cameras are everywhere, above stoplights, on toll booths, and scamming the freeways just waiting to snap a photo of your license plate only to slam you with ridiculous fines. In California, red light tickets are as high as $400. Spray Your Plate is a spray-on photo blocker that protects against all types of cameras. Spray Your Plate photo blocker spray reflects and protects against flash photo images, making your plate unreadable. One can of photo blocker will pay for itself many times over, last forever, and is completely unreadable undetectable. You cannot afford to not be protected with Spray Your Plate Photo Blocker. Call 1-800-276-9601 or go to SprayYourPlate.com. That's SprayYourPlate.com. All orders are kept strictly confidential. You are no longer defenseless against Big Brother, who is watching us all. Go to SprayYourPlate.com or call 800-276-9601. That's 800-276-9601 today. Don't give your money to the state. Spray Your Plate. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? 
bin Laden. This is his MO. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network.